Welcome back to the Jamie Phillips Football Chats YouTube show. Uh, today we are previewing Liverpool and Brentford. Um, set the kids off by 30. So, Brentford, it's going to be a tough game away. They're in a good bit of form at the moment. Um, playing well this season. Only beating Arsenal at home again in the season. They're not too bad. Very good going forward. They've got a good striker in Ivan Tony and uh, a very good manager but uh, going forward with us I think we should be winning this game this is a game we should be looking at winning especially what will happen earlier on in the day with uh, I think Man United are playing I can't remember Man United are playing and Man City are both playing 30 kickoffs I believe there's a concert or something in Manchester that's why they're going to be back at half 12 tomorrow um, Big game for us because if Man City Chelsea draw or you know, Man City beat Chelsea and we win that game against Brentford, you know, it's going to put us, we can have a little bit of a tiny bit of a gap. And uh, we need to keep this momentum we've got going at the moment, guys. So I think he'll go reasonably strong as he can for this game against Brentford. I know we've got some injuries uh, to our midfield, but. A lot of people are going a bit over the top with that at the moment for my liking. Um, worrying about that a bit too much. Um, yes, Emmy, it's a long term injury. Nothing we can do about that. It was a freak challenge accident. And uh, there's not a lot we can do about that. Uh, Thiago will probably be back up here at National Break, so he's going to by Man City. Um, Kata, no. Takes him over a bit of clock, bit of grass, and uh, he's out for this game. He should be back. I would be surprised if he's uh, uh, back for the Porto Man City game. Or they probably rest the Porto game, be back for the City game. So I'm going to concentrate on the field at the moment. Um, personally, I think obviously Fabinho will play, no doubt about that. Um, Alongside of him, Henderson, and I'm going Curtis Jones. <clears throat> now, I think we've all forgotten about Curtis Jones because Harvey Elliott has been so good and started the season, and Klopp obviously loves him because he played him, you know, he fit he plays by the way under Klopp, Harvey Elliott. And uh, I would. Uh, don't forget Coach Jones, guys. Coach Jones is a very good footballer. He's only 20 years old himself. He can be a great footballer. And I think he's got a bit of a chance here, Coach Jones, to show what he can do. I mean, this game in Brentford, you know, they're going to try and hurry. Brentford try and play on the front foot. They try and play nice attacking football and quite expensive. So Curtis Jones might be able to get on the ball quite a little bit in this game. Being out Henderson might slow it down a little bit. Curtis Jones might be playing a bit more forward of them too. Trying to feed it into the strikers. But that's midfield I'll go for. <sighs> Another midfield I'd go for is possibly playing Minamino in the field. Now I think it was against... Ooh, yeah, it was in Norwich in the League Cup. And uh, I think in the second half... Up some subs, club brought him deeper and started playing in the midfield free. And I think he got his second goal from the a run from midfield. So, Minamino in midfield could be an option, especially if you're playing as a sort of a, a number 10, a number 10 role, a more advanced midfielder. That could definitely work for me, especially against Brentford. Um, front three, well, it, this is my opinion on the front three. Salah on the right, obviously. Then I play Jopper on the left, and I play Origi up top. Now this might shock some people, but personally, I think if Origi should start as our number nine, if Roberto Firmino is out, whenever Firmino needs to be rested or injured, Origi should be our number nine. And I say that because Jota can't play that role. Now he's done okay playing that role since the start of the season, and obviously scoring some goals. But St. Lax's game, he can't hold the ball up. He's not very good with his back to goal. Um, 
and he's not very good at linking the midfield and attack. So in games, in the 90 minute game, he's been very quiet and forget Jota's playing. But you put Jota on the left hand side, where he's got the ability to get the ball at his feet and run at defenders with his pace and his good tricks. And uh, he's obviously he's very good at cutting in from the left and scoring goals. Like his hat trick against that in the Champions League. <clears throat> but Origi is number nine. Let's face it, guys. Origi, the last two games he's played with her number nine, has been exceptional. But that beautiful assist against AC Milan and against Norwich, he held up the ball really well. You know, he's there for the big pump up field if we need it to break any kind of pressure. No, he's not like Bobby, where Bobby can bring the ball down and link them if he's an attack. That's not what he can do. He can hold up the ball and let everyone come towards. And he also takes defenders away. So while he's in this bit of form, Marigi, personally, I think we should use him. Give Mane a rest and uh, use Mane as the impact substitution tomorrow. Defence. Uh, or Trent's back, the King's back, uh, best right back in world football, I don't care what anyone says, there's not a better right back in world football attacking that right hand side, Commander G, the managed class. Uh, Robbo will probably play left back and then Van Dijk and Matic, because you just got a bit, Ivan Tone is a big powerful unit, and they got good, they play that three up top as well, they got the two that come round the sides, they play Tony through the middle, and I'd play Matip and Van Dyke just to counter out that hard and tiny threat. I won't play Gomez or Knight in this game. And then obviously Ali and Goal, best goalkeeper in the world. So that's the best left back in the world, best right back in the world, best goalkeeper in the world, best holding midfielder in the world, best right winger in the world. Not too bad, is it? And then that should be Brentford. I'm, I think it'd be not going to be a walkover. We're not going to just turn up at Hounslow and beat them comfortably. But I think it'll be, the, the fans are going to be really up for it, really up for it. So I'm, I'm looking at 3-1, 3-0, 3-1. I think we can keep them quiet. I think for the first 20 minutes, I think Brentford will be well up for it. This is their biggest game they've ever had at home in their history. Let's face it, Liverpool come to their new stadium. The crowd, go, I mean, I'm still not. But Liverpool coming to their ground, they're going to be so up for it. A bit like Leeds was the other week. You know, got through that first 20 minutes and it completely killed the crowd. I think we'll do that against Brentford as well. So, yeah, 3 0. I'm going 3 0. 3 1 is Tony Dugger. But, yeah, 3 1, 3 0. Comfortable win. And if the Manchester clubs on Chelsea mess up earlier on in the day, yeah, we've got a little gap there. So that's all for it to continue, guys. That's just a nice little video giving you my uh, opinion on how we should play against Brentford on Saturday. And after the game, I'll be doing a reaction video. So please look out for that. And in the meantime, guys, please like and subscribe to my channel. Much love.